Hey guys, it's Mika. Um, well, I haven't made a video in a really long time, and so now I decided to finally make one, <laughs> basically, I guess. Um, and there's a reason that I've been like virtually silent on social media and haven't posted anything. I haven't made any videos, haven't released any music, haven't really even posted anything much at all. Hi. Um, so now I'm deciding to break my silence, I suppose, and explain what's what's been going on and what's happened and why I haven't posted anything and why there hasn't been any new music or anything like that. Um, so pretty much... Uh, a year ago, you know, I uh, released a new CD, and oh, by the way, I apologize, this this vlog is probably going to be pretty long, so, yeah, anyway, um, I released new music, I tracked it with a great producer, and then I signed a contract with a manager that I thought was going to really help me out a lot, and he made a lot of promises, and we had a lot of plans and things that we were going to do, but nothing ever came of it, so like recently I just got out of that contract, but I haven't really been able to do anything, and as you can imagine, it was really upsetting, and as a musician, if you know anything about musicians, we're already, I don't know, we're different, we uh, tend to get sadder. <laughs> easily, more easily than other people, maybe, maybe not, I don't know, but, you know, musicians have a history of, like, being easily depressed and stuff, but it wasn't easy anyway, so I, it was really difficult, because I kind of had, like, my hopes and dreams crushed, so to speak, so I just kind of gave up and laid down and took it, and I didn't really want to do anything, um... Until recently, I guess, until recently, I decided, you know what, I, I have to, if I want to do something, if I want to make music, then I have to do it for myself, and just push myself and get as far as I can, and do as much as I can, but the part that, the critical part about that, though, the most important part is the fact that I can't do anything on my own, so, I mean, I can make music, and it can be good, or it can suck, or whatever, I think my music's pretty good, but um, it all boils down to the support of my fans and people that like my music and listen to it, and whether or not you guys want to help me spread it to other people and spread it to your friends and tell your friends about it and get them to tell their friends and blah, 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 so the cycle goes. Anyway, so basically until recently I really didn't want to do anything about it. Um, until I decided that I should not give up on my dreams. And so, you know, I had a really long time to process everything and think about everything. And, like, I guess a part of me said that I shouldn't have signed that contract because I knew somewhere deep down in my heart that the things that he said was going to happen weren't going to happen. But I chose to ignore that because my personal dreams and goals are so, so big that I thought, hey, this is my chance. But that wasn't the case. So anyway, basically I just wanted to say that if you guys have any goals and dreams to work for yourself, work hard for yourself, and you have to do it on your own and by yourself until you get to a point where you have people that have legit legitimate like credentials and qualifications knocking on your door and calling you and that's when you know that you've you've hit jackpot you've hit gold that you've you've gotten somewhere to where people are actually interested i mean unless you go to like college and then you have to obviously do job applications so don't don't think that if you're going to college that you're just going to have a bunch of people calling you i mean it's, it's possible but if you're doing, like, music or acting or anything that's, like, artsy, 
just keep pushing and keep trying no matter what, no matter what anyone says, no matter what any what, what happens, no matter any of the situations that happen. Because if it's something that you really want to do, then you're not going to be happy unless you're doing it. So basically, I decided that I'm going to pick music back up and I'm going to start releasing new stuff and I'm going to start actually making content. So I've made goals for myself and I've decided that I'm going to do this legit, hardcore, um, hard in the paint, so to speak, but I'm going to be posting a vlog, just a no edit, me rambling, me talking about whatever vlog, it might be short, it might be long, once a week on YouTube, I'll probably try to post some more stuff on Vine and stuff, because I, I barely ever use it, and hopefully I can get some better content on there for you guys, but, um, I mean, obviously stuff on Instagram, whatever, but I'm going to be posting a vlog once a week. They're mostly probably going to be really stupid. Some of them might be serious, but they'll be me rambling, talking about some nonsense that doesn't make any difference in the world to anyone. Uh, hopefully you guys make it funny. I mean, <laughs> hopefully you guys find it funny. Um, yeah, like a lot of it will probably, probably be stupid. And then... Um, I'm also going to be releasing new music. Um, I just recently bought a brand new recording rig, uh, new software that I'm going to be starting to use. Um, so I'll be releasing one song a month. At the end of the month, sometime, you'll know because it'll be on social media and if you pay attention, you'll see it. But I'll be re releasing one song every month with a music video. I'm not playing around, I'm doing this for real. <laughs> Um, so one song a month with a music video, and I'll probably be traveling around to different places to try and shoot the music video. Um, the first one I'm doing, I'm going to shoot here in my hometown. Because uh, I, I actually moved from Nashville back to my hometown in Alabama, where I kind of grew up. Um, but I'm not actually from here, which is crazy. But uh, it's just an hour and a half south of Nashville. And when I was living up there, I really found out that there was no point in me living up there and trying to play local shows, because Nashville is all country music and rock music, pretty much, and Christian music. So I don't really fit into the music scene there, which is fine. I made some really cool friends. I had a good time. I still go up there frequently. I still do, do stuff up there. And I mean, if someone did ask me to play a show, I probably would. But, um... Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to be traveling around to different places to try and shoot music videos in different cities. Like, next month, I'm planning to go to New York City um, to shoot my music video um, for a song that I actually wrote with the fantastic producer based in L.A., and I'm going to be writing some more stuff with him. That is the one thing, one good thing that came out of uh, that contract I had with my manager. But this producer has been nominated for two Grammys. He's got multiple platinum records. Um, he's worked with like Backstreet Boys, Pink, John Legend, and a boatload of other people. But I'm going to be doing a couple other songs with him, and he's going to be helping me down the road, hopefully. And So he's a cool guy. I'm not going to name him. It doesn't matter. But, uh... Yeah, so, I mean, pretty much, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, I hope you guys like the new stuff that I'm working on. It's more radio. It sounds more radio, because that's really the direction I want to go. Like, my goal and my plan is to still try, I want a band, so I want it to be kind of like a Maroon 5 deal, but obviously not Maroon 5, or, or maybe Maroon 5 is a bad comparison. Maybe like, um... What are they called? Hey guys. Hey, hey. How are you? Uh, how are you doing? Good. Um, they're not, what are they, I can't even remember what they're called. Anyway, basically just a pop band um, with like a guitar and a drummer and maybe like a, a DJ or something. But um, that's still my goal. So, I mean, if there are musicians out there that want to join a pop band and actually want to take it seriously in the hopes of eventually being signed and 
touring or touring and not being signed or just anything. I just want to travel for a few years and play music um, really, really badly. I mean, unless it just takes off and, you know, whatever the future holds. But music is my passion. Music is what I'm good at. And I plan to do this, give it one final push for at least a couple years. So, yeah, man. Or guys, girls, whatever. I do appreciate all of you that have stuck around. And seriously, feel free to hit me up on Facebook. If we're not friends on Facebook, I have a link to my Facebook, on my Facebook page, to my first personal profile. Or you can just look me up, Mika Wyman. It's You'll be able to find me because I'm right there. My name's spelled M-I-I-K-A-W-E-I-M-A-N-N. This is if you want to talk one-on-one because you can tweet me, you can comment on my Instagram stuff, comment on my Vine stuff, comment on YouTube, and I will see it and most likely will reply unless you're just a jerk. So don't be a jerk. But, yeah, it's 11 minutes. I should probably wrap it up now. There's not much more for me to say, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm alive. I'm still going to be making music. And, uh, yeah, don't quit on your dreams. Follow them. Because your dreams are what make you you. And you were put here for a reason. And your dreams are given to you by a person who I believe is God. Um, So I love you guys. Um, Of course, I believe Jesus loves you. But most importantly, I love you. Well, not most importantly. (laughs) I'm kidding, I'm kidding, no, but really, um, I love you guys, uh, tweet me, help me spread the word, and retweet this, share this, all that jazz, but yeah, I love you guys, adios.